Ringmaster, Mr. Clark Kirshner says it's time to start the show. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, welcome to your super circus, the greatest of them all, brought to you by Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, Kellogg's. And now the show is on as we direct your attention, of course, to ring number one, where you see a breathtaking, daring exhibition on the revolving ladders, by Renee and Jim. Here they come.
boys and girls going round and round on the revolving ladders. With uh, Jim taking about as many close shaves as you and I'd ever want to take, if he ever forgets to take that chin of his out of the way, in the words of Jackie Gleason, pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Tom Harmon. Say, now is the time to speak up for your favorite high school football team in Kellogg's Big Orange Bowl contest. A few simple words can win. Anybody can enter, students, teachers, parents. And here's that great first prize. A flight to Miami for you and a companion by Delta CNS Super Convair. Three wonderful days, all expenses paid. Seats on the 50-yard line for the Orange Bowl game. Plus a $1,000 savings bond. If your school permits, you take the whole team along as your guests, and your school gets $2,500 for its athletic fund. If your team can't go, your school gets $7,500 extra in cash, and you and your companion make the trip. Rules are on every package of Kellogg's Pep, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, and in the November 2nd Life magazine. So get the rules. Pick your team. You may go to the Orange Bowl as guests of Kellogg. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, for our next big feature on Super Circus, let's take a trip down through our great tent to the other end where the bandstand is all set and the magicians are all set to play a Super Circus Serenade, led by lovely Mary Hartline. Circus Lane Syncopation, played by our Super Circus Band, led by our Queen Mary Hartline, and uh, introduced by appropriate remarks by Cliff. Well, boys and girls, with Halloween here, it's um, time for the spooks and witches and the goblins to appear in the better uh, haunted places. Um, but the only people that are uh, silly enough to chase them are clowns, especially our clowns. Now, rumor has it that there's a fabulous treasure buried in the old Crocker Mance on Skeleton Hill. They say that those ghosts leave at the stroke of midnight to do a little exercise, and they leave that treasure completely unguarded. But no one, absolutely no one, has ever been able to withstand those evil spirits long enough to lay claim to the treasure up until today. As we look in on our clowns, Cliffy, Scampy, and Nicky, and lovely Mary Hartline, they're about to enter the ghostly gate of the old Crocker Mance.
gonna get it. Oh. Take three steps backwards. One, two, three. I said three steps, Tuppy. <laughs> and now, you're gonna get it. And so, friends, we conclude another violent chapter in our exciting story of gang blisters. Be sure to tune in again next week at the same time when we will present... For goodness sake, that was nothing but a silly old radio. Yeah. Get up and be brave. You sure we ain't dead? Yeah. Oh, for oh goodness sake. <laughs> well, now, Kathy and I brought you this far. Now, you'll just have to do the rest yourself. Ah. Uh, We'll wait outside while you find the treasure. Outside? You're not scared, are you? Oh, no. Of course not. <laughs> well, then, all right. Scampy and I'll be right outside. And if you need any help, just holler. <laughs> Come on, Scampy. <laughs> oh, uh, fellas, yeah. you've only got, uh, oh, about two more hours to go. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, well, but say, it's very... Right. Don't you think... <laughs> Oh, Clippy, what time is it now? I don't know. Must be getting awful late. Haven't you got a watch? No, of course I haven't. That's why I asked you. Oh, you know what? Thank you, Clippy. Uh, what are you thanking me for? For showing me the time. I didn't show you anything. You did so. You put your watch right in front of my nose. I haven't even got a watch, you stupid... Clippy, you haven't got a watch? No, I haven't got a watch. Ah! Don't do that! <laughs> now I've got goose pimples. You got goose pimples. My goose pimples have got goose pimples. Hey, the phone's ringing. Uh, well, answer. What? I said answer. Now? Yes, now. All right, all right. Hello? Hello? Well, who is it? I don't know. Well, why didn't you find out? Because there wasn't anybody on the other end. You did? What, nobody? Nobody. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll ask you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Ooh. Ooh. Who was it, Clippy? N -n Nobody. Oh! Nobody. Clippy, I hope it don't ring anymore. I think that's a ghost to ghost call, and I don't want to answer it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got an idea. Uh huh? Hold the phone. Yeah. I'll take these scissors. We'll cut the wire. <laughs> The telephone, it rang. Well, and then we cut the wire. <laughs> and then it rang again. For oh, goodness sake, that's impossible. Oh, you're just a couple of old scaredy cats. And I... Well, what a cute little old man. And giddy, giddy, go. <laughs> How much longer have we got to stay here? Well, yeah. I was just noticing it's just one minute of twelve. You've only got one minute to go. Uh -huh. And now, Scampy and I'll be right outside. <laughs> but, Barry, don't you think... <laughs> Let me... Ah! Don't do that. I'm so nervous. Hey, <laughs> Did she say just one minute? Yeah, just one minute. Just think. We stay here just one more minute. We'll be the first ones to ever stay till midnight in Crocker's Mance. In Crocker's what? Crocker's Mance. Mance, Mance. I knew a fellow one time that had ants in his mance. <laughs> oh, don't do that. No time for joking. I don't feel like laughing. Be quiet now and look for the treasure. <laughs> what? Who? Three, oh my, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> 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 Posterity, another unsuccessful attempt to wrest the treasure from the vaults of the old Crocker Man. <laughs> By Cliffy Scampi and Nicky and lovely Mary Hartline. Well, now, boys and girls and moms and dads, gather around, because in just a moment, you're going to hear how you can win one of the grandest, most unusual awards ever offered. A wonderful trip, a marvelous adventure, and you're going to hear all about it from one of football's greatest names, all-time All-American, Tom Harmon. Hello there. I'm Tom Harmon. Say, now is the time to speak up for your favorite high school football team in Kellogg's Big Orange Bowl contest. A few simple words can win. Anybody can enter. Students, teachers, parents. And here's that great first prize. A flight to Miami for you and a companion by Delta CNS Super Convair. Three wonderful days, all expenses paid. Seats on the 50-yard line for the Orange Bowl game. Plus a $1,000 savings bond. If your school permits, you take the whole team along as your guests, and your school gets $2,500 for its athletic fund. If your team can't go, your school gets $7,500 extra in cash, and you and your companion make the trip. Rules are on every package of Kellogg's Pep, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, and in the November 2nd Life magazine. So get the rules. Pick your team. You may go to the Orange Bowl as guests of Kellogg's. That's right. You just tell in your own words why you want your favorite high school team to go to see the Orange Bowl game. Maybe it's because of their sportsmanship or their courage. Whatever the reason, you tell about it in your own words, and you may be the one to take your boys to beautiful Miami. So don't delay. Go to the Kellogg shelf in your grocery store tomorrow. Sure, get a package of Kellogg's Corn Flakes or Kellogg's Pep, and read the easy rules on the package. Remember... Anybody could win, and it could be you. On your way to Miami with your favorite high school football team as guests of Kellogg's to see the New Year's Day Orange Bowl game. And now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, back once again to ring number one in our Super Circus Arena. And here are the young men that you've been waiting for with their terrific teeterboard tumbling. Here they are, the All-American Boys. Come on out with Walter Dick. <laughs> <laughs> 